to do is put this carbon dioxide in a, just a cup by itself. Pipe it into the carbon dioxide evaporator. You know that we breathe in oxygen and expel carbon dioxide. <coughs> carbon dioxide is not poisonous. It's not poisonous. We, we all have it inside ourselves that we breathe out. It's just that if we have only carbon dioxide, it's bad news. So, and also carbon dioxide, the molecule here, is heavier than air because we add up the weights. Remember the atomic weights I told you about? Carbon is 12, we can look over here, oxygen is 16, and another 16. So if we add a 12 and a 16 and a 16 together, what do we get? 44? A 16 and a 16 and 12, 44. And if you look at air, air is oxygen, which is 16 and 16, which is 32. The nitrogen, which is 14 and 14, which is 28, both of which are lighter than this. So carbon dioxide is heavy, heavier. And so it tends to settle at the bottom. And it's evaporating. We take this match here, we go in and it just goes out. And the reason is because it's filling up with carbon dioxide, filling the oxygen, and so now there's no longer any oxygen to allow this to burn. And this is actually quite dangerous in some unusual situations. Volcanoes expel a large amount of carbon dioxide. And sometimes it fuses through the cracks in the earth, and sometimes in Africa, this happened in the last 20 years, a whole huge valley filled up full of carbon dioxide, and since it was heavy, it settled into the valley, and everybody died in the valley. All the animals died in the valley. And these hawks were flying above this, and wow, look at that dead envelope, that de dead antelope. It <laughs> flies down, and it went up, up, boom, the bird itself popped over because it flew into the blanket of carbon dioxide. Yeah. Out. Okay, out. 